You saw our uh, unfortunate coffee video. What's the nicest thing a man's ever done for you, Taylor? I would say half the time, my dad remembers my exact birthday. Oh! oh. Those are pretty good, pretty good stats. Pretty, they're good. Good stats. Majority, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Josh, how about you? Well, basically, it's a low bar because I never met my dad, so just... <laughs> like, yeah. don't, just don't leave. <laughs> Kurt, I hope your dad sucks too. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna look real dumb. I know. <laughs> Actually, the nicest thing a man has ever done for me is make gentle love to my sweet mother. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> all right, panel, tonight you'll all be playing for an A restaurant health inspection rating. <laughs> I know, we knew you were coming. You can put this up in your window and make people believe you're clean. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. When it comes to football, the position I relate most to is the kicker. Why? We don't need to explain everything. <laughs> but you can imagine my dismay when Arizona State's kicker missed a pair of field goals and their head coach was extremely disrespectful. Our kicking game's atrocious. So if you can kick and you're at Arizona State, uh, email me. Right, we're gonna have kicking tryouts on Monday. So bring it on, kicking tryouts Monday, let's go. If you can kick, email me. All right, I may not know much about football, but I've heard enough dating advice to know that this guy is way too desperate. So panel, what advice would you give this coach to help him find the kicker of his dreams? Josh. Honestly, this coach is just thirsty. He just needs to work on himself and the kicker will find him. Yeah. Thank you. Taylor. I think don't commit to the first hottest kicker you meet, you know? <laughs> Take a little time, play the field. <laughs> yeah. Kurt. It's kind of rude to be so picky about kickers when we haven't even seen his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see his balls. <laughs> I'm sure he has a big bag of them, you know? <laughs> They're always on the side of the field. Nobody's laughing because you think CBS won't put this on air, but they will, okay? We're on very late at night. Yeah, yeah. You get away with a lot. You get away with a lot. Okay. Scams are all around us. Just take a look at our show. You're all competing for fake points to win an A restaurant health inspection rating. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. This past weekend, TikTok user Natasha Ashpia went viral after posting dash cam footage of a car purposely backing into her in an apparent insurance fraud scheme. Oh. Take a look. But it is crazy. Like, he had one hand on the... What the oh, oh, my God! What, what, what happened, babe? Uh... Ah! Ah! Oh, my God, what is he doing? Babe, what the hell is going on? Reversed into you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I'm shaking. My God. Babe, babe, babe. Yeah. Just stay there. So wrong. Okay, that was really scary, but can we talk about those scammers' award-winning <laughs> acting? <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh I don't know. Oh, no. wait, 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 I'm so confused. Oh, no. I think it's my C5. <laughs> it's my C5. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> This is actually a big story right now, and apparently a lot of people are doing this. Scammers, if you're watching, cut it out. <laughs> That'll do it. People are gonna need... Yeah, sure. Stop. Just stop. People are gonna need to lawyer up after these accidents. So, panelists, I want you to pitch yourselves as a personal injury attorney. Oh. Kurt. <clears throat> Were you injured in an auto accident, motorcycle accident, or accident where you tried to eat three Go-Gurts at once and had to be rushed to the ER to get sweet Go-Gurt pumped out of your throat? I can't help with the car stuff, but I can do the last one. <laughs> Call Brown Oler and Brown Oler. I know it doesn't roll off the tongue, but it was better than Holer and Holer. <laughs> at <laughs> Go-Gurt Law. <laughs> Okay. You know, I might just be a simple country liar, but I believe if you get bum-rushed by a hog on a public marsh that you deserve compensation from the government. 
anti-hog. <laughs> Josh. Did you get in a fake accident? <laughs> no? Want to? <laughs> Hit a boy up. <laughs> I'm aroused by that advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Josh and Kurt are currently in the lead with 2,200 oh. points each. Oh. When we come back, we'll be pushing our panel to their mental limits. Stay tuned. Woo.